This is Amy Chan from CakeDecoratingSchool.com, and if you like cake decorating, you're in the right place. If you're interested in these products, check the links in the description. In this video, we're talking about using white airbrush food coloring. So this, like a lot of the metallics, the titanium dioxide will settle after a little bit. So every time you use it, make sure you're shaking it really well. So cap closed tightly, give it a really good shake. If you need to, it might even take a couple of minutes if it's been sitting for a while. This is a useful product. Anytime I get a cake, whether it's buttercream or fondant, that's dried a little too darkly, or if I wanna create a nice light gradient, it'll do the job for me. So I have some already loaded up in my airbrush gun and I can just give it a nice light spray. And I'll hold this up to the camera so that you can see the nice little lightning effect that it's giving. So most of the time I'm using this, anytime I get something where it's maybe a half a shade or a shade too dark and you can see it just kind of takes that color down a notch where I've sprayed it at the bottom and I can keep going with successive layers. You want to make sure you let it dry in between so it doesn't bead to continue to lighten this. So anytime I get a shade that's just a little too vibrant, going over it lightly with that airbrush white can just tone it down a little bit. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like more about the cake decorating materials and equipment we use, or just some inspirational videos about cake decorating itself, you can follow us on Insta or YouTube at Cake Decorating School. If you'd like to know more about yearly membership and what it entails, you can go to www.cakedecoratingschool.com for more information. And if you're interested in these products, you can check the links in the description.